So I'm going to be doing some testing with this Amper Time Life PO4 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. Now this was actually sent to me by Amper Time. That's not going to change my opinion in any way, shape or form on how it performs. So just know that up front. But I have two of these batteries and right now I've got it connected to a 3000 watt pure sine wave 12 volt inverter as well as an MPPT charge controller. So effectively, I've made my own little solar generator right here. And that's because those are the three parts of a solar generator, basically. So I wanna do some testing on this. So far, it's performed very well. I've had it for a few weeks. And then I wanna show you how I can take two of these and attach it to a Titan solar generator because it is the only solar generator on the market that allows you to use different branded batteries on it. And that's a pretty big bonus because everything else requires you to use their own proprietary batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and test these different things out and just see how well this does and how well it works with the Titan. Let's get into to it. Got the battery here, inverter here, charge controller here. These cables right here are going to the inverter. Now this is a 12 volt only, so I can't connect two 12 volt batteries in series, making it 24 volts to this, and that's perfectly fine. But to connect to the Titan, I do need two of these in series to be 24 volts to work. So for this situation, I've got the cables here, and then here I've got the cables going to the MPPT charge controller. So now what I'm gonna do is add a solar connection. So I just have some MC4 connectors here, and I'm just gonna put the red into the positive and the black into the negative sign here. So now I should be able to connect up a solar panel to this, and the power that comes through the solar panel will go into here and be converted to be battery power to go into the battery, which then the inverter can convert battery power to come out the inverter to run whatever I want. So now I have a single 200 watt solar panel outside in the sun. It's a perfectly clear sunny day. I've got the cables running into here. It's gonna go male to female, male to female, just like so. And immediately we can see that the voltage went up. I just clicked to turn on. And now we can see that we are making solar power going through the charge controller and it is in fact charging the battery. And so right now it says it's putting in about 162 watts and climbing. And one of the most common ways people get the terminology confused is, well, first of all, it's very confusing, is watts and watt hours. Now, a battery is measured in watt hours. That's the capacity of it. So as far as energy moving between, for example, the solar panel and the charge controller and the battery, 160 watts of energy is moving. And in the course of an hour, it will put in 160 watt hours of capacity into the battery. And then the same when the inverter is running, let's say I'm running a 500 watt load. For example, this air conditioner right here uses about 500 watts. If that runs for one hour, it will consume 500 watt hours of energy from the battery. Now, the way that we find out the watt hours on the Amper Time battery or any battery is we just take 12 volts times 100 amp hours, and that's gonna give us 1,200 watt hours. So if I run a 500 watt load for one hour, I'm gonna use 500 watt hours of the available 1,200 watt hours, so almost 50% of the capacity. I wanna add a load to the inverter so that you can see that this is gonna all operate at the same time. So the biggest downside to this setup currently is there is no way to see how much power is going through the inverter in order to see the power that the air conditioner is using. But we are plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And just like that, it's turning on. It's on the coldest setting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the compressor. Running no problem. And now onto super cooling mode. I'm literally able to run this 100% off grid right now. So if I were to connect a few more solar panels, I could plop this into a window and I could run this whole system for about two to three hours nonstop off of this single battery without solar panels. But during the day, I could easily be charging the system and running the air conditioner, no problem at all. So that's one of the cool ways to be able to use this Amper Time battery. But how do we connect this to the Titan so we can expand the battery capacity of the Titan itself? So I've got both of my batteries here and you can see I've got my negative here and then a positive here, a positive here and a negative here. It doesn't have to be set up this way, but this is how I'm going to set it up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uncover these right here. 
and go ahead and get my posts put in. Now, in order to link these two batteries together in series, I just need to go from a negative to a positive, and that can be either one of these sides, it doesn't matter. So I just need one heavy gauge cable or a big bus bar. In this case, I'm gonna use a heavy gauge cable. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that these are relatively close in voltage to make sure that there's not a big spark. And all I'm gonna do is take the black to the black, and then the red to the red, and we're getting 13.15. Then I'm going to do the same on this battery, hitting 13.2. So we're within 0 0.05 volts, and that is plenty close to connect these batteries together. So for our purposes, I'm going to put these two together right here. And you may see a little bit of a spark, and that's totally normal. So you may see something like this. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little preview. And that was it. <laughs> Not even a, a noticeable spark. So you really don't have to be too concerned about this. And so I've now made this a 24 volt battery. The way I test that, I just take the red to the open red, and then the black to the open black, and we can see we're at 26.1 volts. So now all we have to do is get the Titan within 0.5 volts of the 26.1, and then it'll be completely safe to connect these all together. One way to do that is run an air conditioner. So we got that going at a 500 watt load, and then I think I'll also grab a heat gun and we'll really drain this really quickly so that way it gets to the same voltage as these batteries here. So I went ahead and readjusted the screen so it shows the current 74 amp hour capacity, and right now it's saying we're down to 28 volts. So we're running a 1.4 kilowatt load, and all I really care about right now is just getting the bottom left number down to 26.1 volts. So on this 2000 watt hour battery, we were running a 2.3 kilowatt load. That's pretty impressive. The Titan really is an amazing unit. It's one that I still really like, but there are many other options on the market now. The Titan's the one that revolutionized the market and it's one that I still keep around because it's really good, but it doesn't mean it's now the only option that will work for people. So that's why you wanna reach out to Powered Portable Solar. We can help you just by emailing us at info at Powered Portable Solar that way we can tell you which system is going to be the best for your situation. Could be the Titan, could be a DIY system, could be the Blue Eddy AC500, or the upcoming Apollo, or the Delta Pro, Delta Max. There's a lot of great options on the market now. Got it drained down. Just has to be within 0.5 volts of each other, and we're at 26.5, so we're within 0.4 volts. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this breaker is in the off position. I don't want it on yet and then I'm going to go ahead and connect these to these posts. Okay, so this won't be live until I make this breaker go together. And so I wanna go ahead and connect this all up together, reset the screen, and then really ideally we could be charging off solar or the wall charger to reset the screen here totally so it shows the proper percentage on the battery capacity. So all I'm gonna do is take this and plug it into the battery expansion port right here on the side. Everything went together just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in DC mode. So this battery on the Titan is 74 amp hours. Each one of these is 100 amp hours. That gives us a total of 274 amp hours. So it says we're at 19% of the battery capacity. So now I could realistically put the solar panels on this or the wall charger and be good to go. So that is exactly how you expand the Titan solar generator with these Amper Time batteries. You could really use any 12 volt or 24 volt batteries. If you had 24 volt batteries, uh, you would connect these in parallel. So that means you would take this cable rather than going from positive to negative, you'd go from positive to positive and negative to negative. And then you would have leads coming off to go into the Titan or your charge controller, whatever. So that's it guys. So far, I really like these. They performed really well. I've had zero issues. Let's go ahead and put a big load on this just to make sure everything's working properly. Go ahead and plug in the air conditioner again. Kicked on no problem at all. Surging went up to about 900 watts right now. I'm not gonna do a teardown or anything like that. There's a couple other channels like Will Prowse and whoever else uh, who have done teardowns and they do amazing jobs at that. So go watch their content as well. I'll have links down below with coupon codes and anything else I can get for you guys for these batteries if you're looking for 12 volt batteries. So right here, I've got 2,400 watt hours plus this 2,000 watt hours for a total of 4,400 watt hours. These are reasonably priced. Uh, there are other options on the market and I'm gonna be doing videos of those very soon showing very similar setups. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Be prepared guys. Now is the time to be prepared uh, for my house and for my family. 
power is one of the most important things. You always got your food, you got your water, you got your protection, stuff like that. But after that, because I want to keep my multiple fridges, multiple freezers going, I want to keep my security system going. I want to be able to recharge my electronics so that way I have better communication wherever possible. One of the biggest things is I want to be able to keep my well pump running and that's a 240 volt system. And so for that, I have to use my Delta Pro setup uh, and that will basically cover my entire house, that Delta Pro setup. So there are a lot of good options out there. These batteries are really good. So I give them a thumbs up and I do recommend them. Again, there'll be links down below. Be prepared, now's the time to get this stuff, not later, because when you need it, it's gonna be too late. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video.